G'day Matt here from Yovi Wholesale. I'm um, here with my helper Emily today. We're going to be showing you the spark that we've been working with over the last couple of weeks. Today we're going to focus on gesture control only. We have used the uh, remote controller with it. We've used the phone as well. Um, and we'll talk about those in a later video. Uh, but for now, and as most of you are aware, the, uh, the only sparks that will be released this month or especially on the release date, being the 15th, 16th of uh, June, will be the sole aircraft without controller and without combo. So we're going to run through that today with you. We've got an Alpine white one here with us today. And I'll just note down here that we are running the app, even though we're not required to. For gesture control, I recommend you do, because from our testing, what we've found is that if for some reason the uh, spark loses contact with you or your face then it will just sit up there and hover forever until the battery goes flat and you can't bring it down any other way whereas with uh, connection to DJI Go even in gesture control at least we can push land or return to home and it will come back. So off we go Emily double tap on the back rear button and what that will do is it'll scan her up and down you'll see those front lights flashing beeping and then it'll slowly just start revving the motors and it will take off looking at her all the way so um, the most basic gesture control that we use is the palm straight up in front of it just hold your palm straight up and what that'll do is the uh, front lights when it's happy will lock on to her hand and if it's not happy like it is now with the flashing lights Essentially means that she's too close. So just stand back a bit, put your palm out, and we've got solid green light there. So what we'll do now is I'll show you. Emily can walk towards the drone, and it'll back away from her. And if she walks backwards, it will follow her. And also if she pans slowly out to the right, and now just move your arm around keep going around keep going around slowly 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 so it can keep up and back the other way okay and now also you can kneel down slowly and it will follow your hand down and back up again and then you can raise your hand up high and it will go up and then back down slowly Okay, so that's what they call palm mode in uh, gesture control. But Emily's going to uh, put it into follow mode, which basically you just wave at it. This can be a little bit tricky to, uh, to get into, depending on how happy the drone is. It's already flashing the, uh, the front yellow lights, but uh, we'll give it a go and see what happens. So uh, give it a wave, Emily. Okay, so it's going to hover out there now, and I'll get you to just leave it there for a second. So it's basically three metres high and about three metres out. What we'll do is we'll take a photo. So Emily will show you how to take a photo. So take a selfie. And you can probably see on the video the lights are flashing indicating a selfie. Because she didn't put her hands back down, she's going to look like that in the photo. and she's still taking them. Now the drone's slowed down, it's red flashing it back to green, it means it's finished taking them. So let's try a selfie again. Once the red light activates, then let your hands down. Okay, let your hands down. And that's the selfie taken. Now bring, bring it home, which is both hands up. And what it'll do is it will descend down first and then it'll come back to you. And then all you've got to do is put your hand underneath it to catch it. It will power off automatically. And that's it for the spark today. Thanks Emily for her help. Uh, we'll mend this video together and see what we can come up with.